A dying man has told a Senate inquiry in Melbourne he wants to control how and when he ends his life. As Liz Hobday reports, the inquiry is examining a bill drafted by the Greens that would legalise voluntary euthanasia for terminally ill patients. There's no bigger supporter of this bill than cancer patient Peter Short, but he doubts he'll live long enough to see it made law. I am going to die a very slow death, um, basically through suffocation. At the start of this year, he was given nine months to live. And today, he told the committee legal reform would help others like him. Do I drip out on a morphine tube or do I pick a moment and with my wife and my son and my dog's ear, do I say goodbye, take an appropriate drug in an environment where the state and the country supports what I'm doing? The draft federal Dying With Dignity bill would make it legal for doctors to administer drugs to end a patient's life, with two doctors and a psychiatrist signing off on the decision. Many people just simply want the choice to be at home, to be surrounded by their family in their last days and to make that active decision rather than that control being taken away from them. More than a dozen witnesses gave evidence today, including medical experts, family advocacy groups and the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Psychiatrists. Several told the Constitutional Senate Committee that legalising euthanasia could affect the bond of trust between doctors and their patients. Still others said there are better ways to help the terminally ill. We really need to um, increase palliative care services and improve palliative care services, uh, improve training for clinicians. Unlike previous attempts to legalise euthanasia, this draft bill relies on powers in the Constitution. It's yet to face Parliament where it's expected to go to a conscience vote. Liz Hobday, ABC News, Melbourne. New figures have revealed